if you guys remember our sacrifice guys whenever we need to pull a specific champion for arena or for pve we like to sacrifice some hero to the gods of rng that's exactly what we're doing in today's video i'm actually on a clanmates account guys big shout out to legit for uh, letting us to jump on his account and do some summons we're going to open some void shards on his account we have the 2x and the 10x on at the moment now he has a pretty solid account he has a lot of pvp champions he has the tarichkas he's missing georgit and yumeko but yumeko nowadays she's more of a hydra champion akrisia well, we're missing to hanarak cardial etc so hopefully we're gonna manage to bring one of them home we have uh 487 void shards to to have fun with guys uh we're gonna have to make some space every now and then and of course i am hoping to to get some very very good luck on uh, on here we're gonna start with the single pulls then we're gonna dive straight into 10 pulls now i know some of you guys might be thinking like scratch that's a meme like torf the meme uh right here that we just summoned but Whenever we do these sacrifices, I, I feel like it's just a coincidence, but I like to be a believer, you know, I like to be a believer, and uh, it's actually happening, you know, like, if you guys remember all the old pulls we used to do, like, probably <laughs> uh, half a year to one year ago, we always used to get what we kind of, like, uh, hoped for, you know, if we wanted PvP, it's kind of like a thing that uh, a lot of people say in the gacha industry, and it's about loot boxes and the way the games work, when you get stuck, or when the game sees that you need something the game will give you that something to make sure you're progressing from it so you don't quit the game you know and this is a spender right so i am expecting to uh believe that theory even though it's a tin hat foil theory uh there are more and more articles coming out on all of the hidden uh hidden gacha mechanics loot boxes and stuff like this you know so let's dive straight into it leaving the history lesson on the side and see what we are bringing home today. Demita, awesome epic champion, guys. We have a Birdel Fellhammer, a bit more underwhelming. We have the Rowan, uh, epic hero, which is a decent poisoner. The champion chase tournament is on as well for the fusion. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, 3,000 points to get it. Kind of like what I expected, honestly. And um, yeah, opening some shards this weekend is going to be a necessity if you want to complete the fusion anyway so double rage monger psyler which is a solid uh, epic champion solid epic champion uh a bunch of rares we're getting some points in here the faster we start with a solid legendary the better and we're all about uh quality over quantity so itland the golden right here last time when i summoned on his account my my content creator luck was just not there. So hopefully this time around, it will be here. It will make up for the, the last time as well. Hopefully. Ox the Fox. Seducer. I'm trying to seduce an Acrisia. I'm trying to seduce a Cardiel. Maybe seduce it to Hanarak. A Yumeko. Even a Georgie. That's kind of like what we need in terms of uh, Arena. Another 12 the meme. And we got an Ostrox. Bone Glaive. Uh, was the very first void epic champion for the and that faction rock beast draconis uh, i'm not very uh very sure on how is his mercy looking like you know but hopefully we're not gonna find out either hopefully we're just gonna smack it and there we go there we go the 10x we hit the 10x and you know what i asked him bro you sure you want me to summon during the 10x? He was like, yeah, 10x doesn't mean nothing. We're not going to hit it anyway. And <laughs> look at that. The very first legendary that we're getting is the 10x. Now, Sulforian, guys, is actually a very, very solid uh, support. I still think that it needs a bit more to be that awesome void legendary. And what I would like is this HP burn to don't require accuracy. So uh, it's going to be able to uh, uh, put consistency in the spider dungeon, you know? But very nice, uh, very nice burner, and he's gonna be great for the Hydra. Uh, exactly what we wanted, right? So we got what we needed. We let the Hydra basically destroy our uh, our team in there. We we lack the support, and that's exactly what we got. HP burn, revive. Uh, so yeah, we cannot complain about Sulforian. People use him in arena as well if they have the six star blessing, you know, to break stone skin, uh, because HP burn can land on uh, on stone skin definitely not a not a bad thing but let's let's continue our streak let's keep it hot let's keep it hot game 
bring us some uh, some more juicy things. Broadma, Curzad, Deep Heart, another seducer. Let's try to seduce an Acrisia, please. That would be helpful. Seducing an Acrisia. Three shield not back, uh, almost back to back in here. It's actually a pretty pretty good reviver for uh, the Sylvan Watcher faction, guys. Especially if you're struggling with faction wars and you're summoning one. Definitely don't feed him, you know. He's, he's, uh, he's going to be very helpful. Maniter. Awesome stuff for whoever needs unkillable. Harken Great Blade, okay. Uh, Dagger, Skirmisher. John Cena. Uh, Arbalester. Come on, game. Let us seduce. Let us seduce something else. Sulforian was a good pull, though. Eurogrim. Another awesome epic champion. We just summoned Ash, my god. We summoned Ash, guys. Cold Heart. Paragon. And what do we have there? Another Harken Great Blade. Like soon we're gonna get to the to the that moment when we gotta make space. What do we have? Torming the cold. Torming the cold. I think he has him already, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, he's he's still a good uh, he's still a good uh, pool, you know. It's not the best. It's not the best, but he can be used against uh, against the Tarichkas. I made a video on him for Live Arena, probably I don't know six, seven, eight months ago, showing uh, showing you guys how you can use Stormin against uh, Tarichka and Taras and uh, against other uh, other champions in Live Arena. But Tormin is definitely very solid because of the passive. Now he might he might empower the current one that uh, he has if he has a. Uh, uh, a different one. It might be useful for the faction guardians. Uh, personally, I'll be honest. I haven't used Storm in, in a while for Live Arena either. Uh, but he's that. Oh my God! Then we started with another one. No, not Whirling Frost King, man. Like we want, we want quality over quantity. But damn, that was like just bang, bang, you know, bang, bang. I was like, okay, he's gonna be another awesome one. Whirling Frost King, dude. Uh, he's not as bad anymore as he used to be when he was uh, was released. He was part of the very first battle pass that we had in Raid Shadow Legends. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, he's okay. He's okay, but he's not that great either. You know, he's okay, but he's not that great either. So let's just uh, let's just uh, let's just imagine that we haven't uh, we haven't even pulled him. You know, let's just imagine that we haven't even pulled him. Broadma. What else we have? Another Ox the Fox in there. My Colors. Okay, and what are the what are the spots where we gotta make some space? Right, so we got some space, guys. Hopefully, we're gonna bring in better quality, better quality than the than the quantity, you know. Let's 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 see it. Paidma. Paidma is actually a nice uh, a nice epic. I feel like. She lost a lot of value with all the new additions. She got power crap, basically, you know. Another broadmine here. Harrier. Arbalester. And we have a gear grinder. We, we need an S-tier champion. A Yumeko would be absolutely amazing for, uh, for his account. He has double Trandas. And uh, being able to do the, the Yumeko Tranda team for, uh, for Hydra will be very, very solid, you know. I feel like this is a rare tax. We need we need to pay that every now and then. One more, and if this this doesn't show some uh, some good stuff in here, we're gonna do another sacrifice to the RNG gods. Siler, right? Why dry Nia? Whisper. Okay, we started very good on epics though. If if you're looking for points and epics, you're you're definitely getting it from here. Okay. Come on, game. Bring in something uh, something big home. Seer, okay, that's definitely something big. That's definitely something big and powerful. That Karma Burn, the A3 on Seer, guys, is just next level, honestly. So, so powerful. So, so powerful. Not many, not many legendaries can even compete with that insane amount of damage that a Seer can, uh, uh, can do. Oboro. A lot of you guys ask me if Oboro can solo... Uh, the Soul Cross Sand Devils Necropolis on rotation four. She can actually not, you know, like she just won't have enough firepower to to kill the boss and just won't be able to stay alive. Uh, even if you give her good stats on her regeneration, you know. Waregran Sun Cursed three shield not again. We're gonna see a lot of the same rares just because, uh, of course, there are not as many uh, 
void rares as the non-void ones. So what we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to go back to the Hydra. We're going to do another sacrifice to the to the RNG gods with some with some void uh, void heroes, with some support ones, damage ones. Doesn't really matter. Just in the hope to get something uh, something to help our cause. You know, like game, we are failing. We need help in Hydra. Look at that. Just give us something good. Give us a card deal. Give us a Tuhanarak, you know, like imagine saving the key. <laughs> imagine saving the key for him. So there we go. Another sacrifice to the RNG gods. Another sacrifice to the RNG gods. The game knows it. The game knows it that we need some help. I count on you, game. Renegade. So Phil, seems like the game decided to be like, yeah, no, 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 no. You're going to pay tax first. You do sacrifice, you pay taxes, and then maybe, maybe we'll see about giving you something useful. Maybe we'll see about giving you something useful. Bellower. Okay. Are we paying a tax back to back? Are the RNG gods telling us your sacrifice was in vain? Seems like it. Seems like the RNG, the RNG gods are telling us your sacrifice was in vain. Faceless. Okay. Uh... Akimtum, he's a pretty good one. He can be used in Hydra, actually. But let's let's see some uh, some gold, man. Bellower, Chevalier, Falhound. So faceless guys, similar with Georgit and Fushan, has a fifteen percent chance of placing an extra hit. So this can occur multiple times if I uh, if I'm not mistaken. But he's lacking the damage, the firepower to actually take down Amias like Fushan or a a, a Georgit would do, you know. Oh, be something good. Another Sulforian. We hit the 10x twice. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What are the chances for that to happen? Like when you want to pull the 10x champion, it's just not happening. When you want to pull the 10x champion, it's just not happening. <laughs> it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is just crazy. <laughs> I think at this, at this, uh, in the, at this rate, we're gonna we're gonna end up with a plus four sulforian, which is just mental, you know. Like you don't usually get the uh, you don't usually get the the ten x man. It's it's so hard to get the ten x champion, you know. Arbalester, Pantera, but again, we got support for the Hydra, right? We got support for the Hydra. So the sacrifice, the sacrifice seems to. To be working, but in a Sulforian's in Sulforian's uh, favor rather than uh, something else, you know. Veteran, another Arbalester, of course. Harrier, the handsome one, seducer. Come on, okay. Harken, great blade. We might have to do some sacrifices in a uh, in arena, guys. Like we have no damage to kill, you know. Maybe we gotta keep some support in the Hydra team. So we're getting revived and we have no damage after to kill the heads, you know? That will be a longer sacrifice. That will be a longer, longer sacrifice, though. So we're gonna have to make some space and, of course, uh, get a new sacrifice on the line in here. Right, guys, so our sacrifice, so far, it gave us... It gave us the support. But we are... We are looking for more damage and, of course, some support would be nice that's not Sulforian, like... Getting a getting a cardial or a to Hanarak would be nice. But let me just uh, put in a lot of support. So maybe we're gonna get damage dealers instead. Let's just be like, okay, we can revive, but we just don't we don't have the damage. You know, we're lacking the we're lacking the damage. I'm not gonna put any damage dealers in there. Just just support champions. <laughs> See how we're going. Another sacrifice to the gods of RNG. Okay, the de defense down, decrease attack. We're, we're already in a much better spot. You see, we survived a bit longer. That shows that, shows that we, we're good with a support game. We just need damage to kill the heads. Because look, we are, we are taking up on the fight here. We are not messing around. And that's literally what we are lacking. Okay. Madame Siri is about to clap the, the Hydra on her own. Sacrifices need, need to be made. 10, 10k damage dealt. Clearly, we, need, we are lacking good quality damage dealers in here. So, let's crack on it. 240 more guys. 
I'm gonna have to make some more space in a bit. That's fine. But let's bring a good, a good legendary. Something else. Something else. Renegade. Game Body Dishonored. He's actually a solid damage dealer, but mainly for PvP. Uh, what do we have? Golden Reaper. And Scratch Fanatic. We got a Scratch Fanatic. At least. I don't think I've noticed one before. Then we have a Harvester. Stitched Beast. Stitched Beast is actually a pretty solid rare because she can uh, fully deplete the turn meter of, a, of an enemy. Uh, Cardinal. A very awesome revive for, uh, for an epic champion. Then we have Skatix. Pretty good cleanser too. These are still uh, solid epic champions that did not got fully power creep. Seer, two hug the Vanderer, very good epics as well. Got Sikaraniri, and we have we have a Shuzan the Valorous. We got a Shuzan. I was literally, literally just telling them, my clan mates, because we are in voice chat right here in Discord. I need to pull a Shuzan on my account. But I'm gonna wait till Sunday. But I'm gonna wait till Sunday. And guess what? He's getting the Shuzan, not scratch. <laughs> but that's an awesome, awesome pull. Speed Aura for Arena Battles. Block active skills with A1. Uh, activate an instant turn on an ally while you're ge uh, giving him all these buffs. Uh, Termiter Manipulation, increase speed, decrease speed on the enemy. Shuzan is... She's a beast, man. She's a beast. And I would definitely love her on my account. But that's actually a good sacrifice right there. So let's... Uh, Let's continue our hot streak. Maybe we're going to bring in a Yumeko in, a, in as well, you know? And get something, uh, something new. Something new that uh, he, can, uh, he can use for uh, other things. For him, this is a dupe, uh, dupe Shuzan, actually. Wish I, could, wish I could trade her for an Acrisia. No second thoughts. I would just literally... A box up on Acrisia nice with a bow tie in a nice present box and send her to him and get that Shuzan on my account. Oh, ho, ho, what do we have? Two Messia! Two Messia! This is actually a good damage dealer, guys. She's actually a good damage dealer and she's not bad for Hydra either. She might not deal as much damage as, uh, as, uh, as an Acrisia, for example, but she can actually put burn and this skill hits pretty hard when you have targets. Uh, targets and, uh, under HP burn, you know? So definitely not, uh, not a bad option. She will empower Marius as well, the new, the new Void Legendary from the missions, you know, that was recently added. But she can hit pretty hard. She can hit pretty, pretty hard, actually. Definitely not a bad, uh, not a bad drop. Yes, if you have too many of the, of the same. And I know, I know the feeling for people that are looking to get a, a few specific uh, Legendaries and you're getting everything else but those ones. I know that is infuriating, frustrating when you spend so much money to, to get the void, uh, the void shards and you're not getting one of them, you know? I know the feeling very well, don't worry. I know the feeling very well, from own experience. <laughs> Harrier, another Renegade in here, Skatix again, Coldheart, okay. Athlan the Golden, pretty solid uh, epic damage dealer and good, uh, good control as well, especially for the Cursed City. Uh, so far, we have very good drop rates on, uh, on Legendaries. Definitely very good drop rates. Light Sworn. Suwai Firstborn, okay. Another Arbalester in there. Cage Bound. Godseeker and Eerie. I still think she's uh, probably the best epic support, uh, support champion in the game. Madame Series. We're getting a, a lot of epic, a lot of, uh, a lot of points in here. Interceptor. What else we have? Bloodhorn. Dagger. Come on, game. Come on. A Cardial. An Acrisia. A Georgid. A Yumeko. What do we have? Uh, oh my god. Another Sulforian. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Can you guys believe that the 10x is actually real this time around? When you... It's fine when you get a copy, but then getting multiple ones is just like, wow, is it really happening? Is it really, really happening to, to get so many copies of the same one? Like, I guess, I guess he can have a Sulforian in each one of his Hydra teams. And probably, probably he can make the 
fastest, the fastest uh, spider team in the entire game with so many Sulfurians. Like he's gonna, he's gonna have the world record for the spider. There's no way in hell somebody else is going to take the record from him uh, with the Sulfurian. <laughs> with three Sulfurians, actually, it's uh, it's it's crazy, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Come on, game. Come on, give us a Cardiel. Give us a give us an Acrisia. <laughs> Give us an Acrisia. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Okay. Very very good rates though on, uh, on the drops. Very good rates on the drops. Whisper. What do we have in there? Uh, Rune Keeper. Rugnor. Whisper, she hits pretty hard though. Whisper, she hits pretty hard. And do we need to make space? We need to make space. So 130 left, guys. I really hope we're going to bring at least one of the ones that he really wanted, man. Like an Acrisia, a Georgie, the Yumeko, a Cardiel, to Hanarak. Uh, they, they would be definitely saving a bit of the day. It's nice to get Sulforian, Shuzan. They're amazing. Tumesia is not bad either. And we had very good, uh, very good drop rates. But you guys know, know the motto, right? I feel like I've already said it 20... 20,000 times in this video, but we want quality over quantity. Broadma, Confessor, another Bellor coming in here, Draconis, Retainer. What else we, what else we have? White Dryania, another Stitched Beast. Scrank, Scrank is a good burner too, as an Epi, guys, if you, if you need it. Not too bad. Light Spawn, okay. He's an OG. Uh, revive on that. And I think he brings decreased attack too. I haven't used I haven't used him probably in four years. Three, four years. It must have been three, four years since I used the Light Spawn. Which is crazy actually, thinking about it. <laughs> Sky Touch Shaman. Good cleanser. Good healer. Pain Smith. We don't want the pain anymore. We had enough with the pain. Let's... Uh, Let's see something, uh, something else. We summoned Ash again. Reliquary Tender. Centurion. How respects. He looks a bit like Sulforian, just kind of like a more budgetish version, you know? <laughs> Siler. What else we have, game? What else we have? Let's see. Viscerator. Corv the meme again. That epic really needs a buff, man. He really needs a buff. And we're ending it with a, with a couple of rares in there, which is fine. It's kind of like normal. You're getting, and we got a lot of epics. Like, we've definitely hit those rates on epics like crazy. And on legendaries too. Like, we cannot complain about it. Cold Heart, Seducer. Still trying to get his, uh, his job in to seduce one of the, the legendaries that we kind of like just named before. Akimtem, Suwai Firstborn. Pretty, pretty good, actually. Prandar, okay. Provoker, Skatix, Broadma. Look at that. We almost got three lizards back to back to back there. With, uh, with the epics, right? Warcaster, uh, good for block damage. It's only for one turn, but you can make some, uh, some clan boss teams with him. Ragemonger, Confessor, Paragod. Pain Keeper. Another John Cena. Scrapper. Right, guys. So we're back with 40 more voids. We're, we're praying for it. We're praying for it. We have one remnant, which let's just take out of the way before. Maybe, maybe this will reset, uh, reset the luck on the, on the quantity. Uh, on the quality, because we don't want the quantity, you know. So let's see. I never got a mythical from here, but as expected, it's an epic... Uh, Epic. I actually have one on my account. Looking forward to get my epic from here as well. I know some of you guys are commenting that you summoned two, two mythicals from there already, which is mind blowing. Come on, game. Don't take us in the mercy. I feel like we are almost 100, 100 plus in with no Lego so far, but I might be wrong. Game Body Dishonored again. And what do we have? What do we have? Georgie the Breaker coming in to save the day. Ladies and gentlemen. We are saving the day with Georgie the Breaker. Hallelujah to that. And if you haven't saw the video that I posted yesterday, one shot Amias, 
Georgit can abso absolutely do that for you with a basic skill. Super, super solid. Very strong for Arena. This is one of the craziest skills in the entire game. The passive is a bit of an RNG, but when it procs, my god, you are absolutely obliterating the enemy. AoE, very good damage from here too. So yeah, Georgit coming in to the rescue. Coming in to the rescue. Awesome, awesome stuff. I was, I was getting worried there for a second, guys. Honestly, I was getting worried. Suai, Sila, decent, uh, decent epics too. Let's see. What else we have in here? What else we have in here? Another three shield knot. And I think we have 20, 20 more summons or 10 more summons, something like that. Maybe, who knows? Maybe, who knows? We might get something else out of it. The raids were pretty crazy, right? Game of the Dishonored again. And again. Another Paragon in there. And I think this might be the final. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Are we getting something else? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Because, hey, you cannot, you cannot have everything, right? And I feel like even though we managed to hit uh, a few of them that are not necessarily the most insane Void Legendaries, uh, we got a Georgie, we got a Shuzan, we got Sulforian. Uh, these are awesome, awesome, uh, awesome pulls, you know? So hands down. We can definitely not uh, not complain about that. But that was actually all for this one, guys. 400 plus, almost 500 Void Shards on, uh, on the account. Pretty damn crazy. We managed to summon quite, uh, quite a few Legendaries. But I wish you guys uh, amazing luck, even better luck than we had in this video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.